Firstly, decide on where you will have the router installed inside your vehicle. The antenna should then be located on the roof above that location. If the antenna cannot be mounted here, consider a different location. In this video, the router will be installed in a cupboard and the cables will be routed through the roof down into the cupboard. As shown, it is essential to use a suitable cleaning agent to clean the area where the antenna will be placed. This ensures a good seal between the antenna's EPDM seal and the roof of your vehicle. After this, ensure the roof area is dry. This template comes with the instructions of the kit. It shows the measurements of the hole which is required to thread the cables from roof-mounted antenna to the router. Here, Tyrone marks the ideal spot on the underside of the roof prior to drilling. Now Tyrone will drill a small hole from the underside of the roof. With the space being smaller inside the cupboard of the vehicle, this method allows for accurate drilling when it comes to making the full-size 25mm hole for the antenna. Now using a hole saw, the full-size hole is created. Now place the antenna in the newly drilled hole, threading the cables through into the vehicle, not yet peeling off the EPDM seal. Align the arrow on the antenna to face the front of your vehicle for the best aerodynamic performance. Draw a pencil line around the antenna so that when it comes to sticking it down you know it is in the right place. Peel off the protective layer and carefully place the Rome antenna onto the roof of the vehicle in the desired position. Firmly press down to ensure maximum adhesion. With the cables running through the roof, we can now use the roof fixing clamp to further secure the antenna and ensure a good seal. Before fitting the clamp, it may be necessary to cut it down, depending on the thickness of your roof. Thread the clamp up into the hole and screw until tight. Use a screwdriver to fit the small retaining screw to prevent the clamp from becoming loose over time. 